Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai and in this video we are going to try and describe the treatment for males having 100% immotile sperms. This is also called as absolute asthenozoospermia. That's the medical terminology for it. Now commonly this is diagnosed on doing a semen analysis. In the semen analysis your reports will come as 100% immotile sperms. This can lead to a lot of anxiety and confusion and male partners usually tend to explore 100 options be it from medical management, be it from alternative therapies. But remember one thing, there is nothing which works when the sperms are 100% immortal. Absolutely nothing. Though you can try because quite a lot of times a lot of false hopes get registered regarding these conditions. But at the end of the day you will realize that almost nothing is going to work. Quite a lot of times couples also ask, can we do an IUI in this procedure? Remember, IUI is a procedure which is 100% dependent on the sperm being mobile. As a result of this, when you have 100% immotility, IUI is not going to work. In these situations, there is one confusion. When a sperm is immotile, you are not aware that the sperm is a living sperm or a dead sperm. In order to decipher this, there is a special test which can be done in the laboratory which is called as an HOS test which is a hypoosmotic swelling test. We are going to cover that test in a lot of detail in our video subsequently. But for clinical purposes, what is done is these male partners need to do ICSI. In ICSI, which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, the sperm obtained from the male partner is injected inside the egg which is obtained after stimulation of your female partner. This is the only technically available solution which can give you a good and a successful pregnancy outcome using your own sperms to have your own genetic child. So where is the challenge here? The challenge is again the same. The sperms which are obtained are these sperms viable? That means are these sperms alive or not alive? In order to do this, we use a special technique where sperms are obtained from the testis where they are being produced. These sperms are then subjected to something called as laser stimulation. This is what we are going to demonstrate in the video. The sperms which are alive when stimulated by a laser will begin to flicker or the tail will bend. The sperms which are dead, the laser will have no effect on them. You will see this entire thing with a visual impression beautifully in the subsequent video which is going to now follow and it will help you clear a lot of concepts regarding the treatment when a male partner has 100% immotile sperms. So now what we are trying to demonstrate here is actually the picture which is visible from inside of the microscope. So you can see that red colored light in the center that is actually the laser and you see we are going to go close to the sperms which we think are viable and now you see the laser is going to be fired. So once the laser is fired you could see the tail of the sperm bending there. See that? And that is what we are looking forward to. Those are the sperms which we are going to try and select and do an ICSI with those sperms. You can see that it's going to happen on one more sperm which is being meddled around through this testicular tissue. You can see that it's it's going close to the tail of a sperm. It's it's all microscopic adjustment. See that the tail got bent. So that means that's a viable sperm. And that's the process of ICSI which is being done using that sperms which ultimately gives rise to an embryo and then ultimately a pregnancy. However, one must absolutely never forget that in such conditions when there is such a high degree of immortality, the estimated live birth rate following these procedures is going to be approximately 25 to 30 percent and male partners with such issues can also have a child of their own.